about why I have moved from my Scribbles of Matter to my new Archer and Olive Planner. And one of the things that I really want to make very clear is that I use a planner at work. It just makes it really simple. Um, I don't like using a standard planner, you know, for example, the Me and My Big Ideas Happy Planner or the Erin Condren Planner. What I like to do is I like to have a little bit more flexibility. And so I used, I originally used the Scribbles at Matter uh, bullet planner which had some positives and definitely had some drawbacks so I thought let's have a quick chat about what the pros and cons were and also the pros and cons around the Archer and Olive um, bullet kind of planner as well and they call it the daily agenda a 12-month book of plans and Yes, we will get into it in a second. So, one of the things that I liked about the Scribbles at Matter Planner was the fact that it had some really great um, calendar effects. It had the bullets behind the calendars and it had quite a lot of blank pages, which was really helpful. Then you go into the weekly spreads and there was more than enough space for notes and to-do lists and it also had the month down at the bottom, which I really liked, and then it had a generic spread. At the end of the month, there was two blank pages for every end of the month and I absolutely loved that because you could use that for journaling, you could use that for trackers, you could use that for a variety of different reasons. So. One of the things that I found was a drawback was if you are a person who tracks habits, your only option to track are these boxes, which is fine if that works for you, then that works for you. But for me, I like to track on a graph and I'm more of a this kind of tracker person. So what I did was I created my own tracker and I stuck it in. There's a number of times where I stuck in what I needed and I also embellished the pages with stickers and notes and little flip pages to make sure that I was getting the best use out of the journal. What frustrated me I think probably the most was that it was identical all the way through and there was quite a lot of bleeding and ghosting which I'm not the biggest fan of considering I use quite a lot of watercolor and I also love using really juicy pens so that didn't really work for me. So if we're going with cons, definitely cons around the um, the same structure every month and then obviously the bleeding, the ghosting and a variety of the other issues. One issue that's come through quite a bit on social media is that in a couple of them there's two dunes. Oopsies! So didn't love that. Um, I also started running out of ideas on how to personalize the pages and while that is great and all, um, I just I found that because the the structure was so generic, I just found that I started losing creativity or losing motivation to create new colored spreads. Um, so I didn't I didn't totally love that as an aspect. So I made the decision to move over to what is my favorite journal. Um, and they have got their own planner, which is the Archer and Olive planner. It is undated, and I think I probably like that. Um, you, when you open it up, the very first page is your year at a glance. It's undated, I've stuck stickers in um, to date the top of the page. What I did, however, and you will see at the as we go through this, is I put in a whole bunch of blank pages because I was starting in April. So I put a whole bunch of blank, blank pages in and I kind of created a Franken planner. Hmm. Is it a Franken Bujoa? Franken bullet journal? Franken journal. 
Um, essentially what I did, and you'll see it's extremely thick, is because I've added a whole bunch of um, additional blank pages into it. So the monthly setup is very similar to the scribbles that matter, but it's undated. So you can choose what dates are going into the planner. And then it's got a small to-do list down the side, which on a couple of spreads I've covered up and I've used that as the month and then covered this up with a bit of washi tape. The weekly spreads are pretty straightforward and give you enough space. So these are, whereas the scribbles that matter was more horizontal feeling, these are more, sorry, more vertical feeling. These are more horizontal, which is still awesome and gives you quite a bit of range to personalize them. But again, we fall into the same trap of there's only so much personalization we can make, right? So what I've done with a couple is I've added a little bit more juge to them. So I've added some cutouts, I've added some additional stickers and stamps, and I've kind of created my own feel, look and feel to it. On a couple of the spreads, if I wanted something different, I added in a blank page and I've stuck in um, and created a, for this particular one, I've created a vertical spread because I needed something a little different. Right, so pros and cons. I absolutely pro the fact that it's 160 GSM paper. Um, you really can't beat that. It means regardless of what you throw into it, it doesn't bleed. You can watercolor it. You can see I've put quite a lot of watercolor here and just absolutely nothing on the other side. Um, I really like the undated feel to it so you can start any time. And I've used the months that I haven't, um, you know, because starting in April, that gives me January, February, and March. So that gives me three months to create blank pages for, which I did. So I've added quite a lot of blank pages into the journal. And it's also given me quite a lot of opportunity to create some really fun spreads as well. Um, the sizes are pretty standard. And I'd say that that is a solid pro. Con pretty much the same as the uh, scribbles at matter planner you know you're gonna lose a little bit of creativity because you're always structured but I find that it just saves me time for my work journal because I can add in notes and I can add in um, quite a lot more and I can be a little bit more productive whereas my personal journal at home which covers off everything else like my level 10 life etc I find that that is more creative and a lot more um, Kind of dynamic it's also an archer and olive just out of interest sake so let's get into how I moved everything over right so we get started by opening it up and it goes straight into the 12 month calendar and then into an undated calendar and the weekly spreads you can see that I've put sticky notes down to make sure that I keep track of what I was interested in putting into my new planner Right, we're going to start by sticking in some blank pages. We trim it to size and stick it in. I'm now going to include the months of the year on the undated annual planner. I'm going to use this page as a tracker.
going to stick in another blank page to create my annual monthly calendar and almost what I can consider a future log. To do this, I'm going to use my ink by Gen G Stamps and my stencil to measure it out. Now that we've created our future log, I'm going to work on my first monthly calendar, which is going to obviously be April, seeing as we're almost at the end of March. I'm going to stick in this absolutely adorable floral flap from a coloring in book that I'm just using some gentle gold paint and some pastels, and I'm going to stick that into the month. Using the same pastel colors and a little bit of the gold, I'm going to fill in some of these boxes. Kind of gives a really nice cohesive feel to the theme. Now I'm going to add some days of the week, the month and the dates. Um, this is really easy to do. I use my Happy Planner stickers to do this and it makes it really simple. I'm using gold days of the week and then I use a gold month as well. Now I stick in some really fun little embellishments all over the page to give it some personality.
For my first weekly spread, I'm going to use some really pretty pastel paper and I'm going to use some really pretty gold foiled stickers from my Happy Planner collection. Hopefully this will create a really lovely spread. I follow through with this theme onto the next week and again use the pastel paper and the really adorable gold foiled stickers. birthday planner I wanted something a little bit different. I wanted to use some of the really beautiful star sign stickers that were gold foiled from the free spirit sticker book from Happy Planner. So I thought it would be really fun to create a um, 
star sign feeling circle and then put the birthdays in as per your star sign rather as per the month.
thank you so much for spending your time with me today. Please feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and I look forward to seeing you next time.